Hello and welcome to another presentation of the Solid Sports Video Blog. This is episode 81. Thursday Night Football Edition, Solid Sports Video Blog. Today's date is December 5th, 2018. The Jacksonville Jaguars will go to Tennessee to face the division rival, the Tennessee Tigers, in the AFC South matchup. Of course, Jaguars pretty much out of it at 4 and 8. Um, Titans coming at 6-6, trying to stay alive in the AFC wildcard picture. And um, this game is crucial for them to try to uh, get that final wildcard spot. As look like Kansas City or the LA Chargers will get that first one. Ravens right now in the sixth spot. Where everybody's chasing them at 6-6, including the Titans. The Dolphins are 6-6 as well. Um... The Colts, I think, are six to six. So uh, a lot of teams are six to six, trying to fight for that playoff spot. Um, I also have my power rankings for Week 14 as well. Um, but first, we're going to preview this game. Of course, tomorrow night, um, Thursday night football, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Tennessee Titans. I start with the Jags. Um, last week, of course, was Sunday. Um, beat the Indianapolis Colts six nothing to uh, pull the Colts down. Back to six and five. I mean, back to six and six. Excuse me, but a six left to win. Um, Jaguars uh, been up and down all year long. Um, very disappointed team. To me, the most disappointed team in the league. Um, uh, if you compare expectations and who didn't meet them, I think the Jaguars definitely um, on the top of my list of teams that stand out to me. That uh, I thought that was going to be a lot better this year. Defense still playing pretty well, as you see there. A shutout win um, last week against the Colts. But um, offense, of course, the mission of Blake Bortles uh, the week before. Uh, Kobe Kessler, I think, is the starter. And you see they only put up six points, but they did win the game. Um, but they very compromised. Uh, um, Leonard Fournette can't stay on the field, uh, either injury and now suspension. I think he was suspended for this game this previous week, so he should be ready for this game um, tomorrow night. Um, and just no, no, I mean, no, really no weapons around uh, the Jaguars, no offensive guys that stand out, so Leonard Fournette is the offense. Um, he has to stay on the field to give them any chance of winning. Um, but uh, we'll see if uh, the Jaguars can put a wrench in the Titans plans. Um, I wrote down the Jags future. Uh, right now it looks kind of bleak. Look like they had a plan. They did sign Bortles to an extension. But um, with the bench it looks like they're going to think about moving on. Uh, if they continue to slide they'll be in the top 10 in the, uh, as far as picking a, uh, as far as a uh, draft pick. Um, but not a lot of quarterbacks in this year's draft or next year's draft. So. Um, be interested to see where this team goes from here, but the defense still stout, still got young talent on that side of the ball. Hopefully they keep that together, but offensively, they just lost. And, um, four and eight, of course, they start off three and one. Um, and then they lost seven straight, I believe, um, before they won last week. Um, uh, but yeah, very disappointed in the Jaguars. I thought they would be, obviously I had to win this division. I'm not going to lie about that. Or at least being a strong wild card, if not winning the division. But right now, they're last in the South. And um, now, this probably just playing spoiler. But uh, four wins, you know, it seems like y'all know. But in the AFC, with all the teams that had six wins, um, they three out of a playoff spot with five to go. So, still look pretty bleak. But not mathematically eliminated, I guess, to put it that way. But. Just don't think they uh, plan well enough that you think they even make a run. And I don't think 8-8 eight and eight are going to get in the playoffs anyway. So I pretty much think they're done for this year. Um, let's move on to the Titans. Um, crazy, ugly game as it's been all year for the Titans. Been up and down. Jets jumped on them, but they came they were able to come back and beat the New York Jets. 26-22, Marcus Mariota um, and Derrick Henry. And uh, Titans office was able to climb back into the game. Um, Titans uh, had some disappointing losses. Also had some big wins at the same time this year. Um, 
last night they laid the egg the week before to the Colts so um, uh, just uh, been disappointed uh, so uh, well excuse me they played the Houston Texas but they didn't play that well at all that Monday night game that they just had with the Houston so um, but they still lie for a playoff spot as I mentioned uh, Baltimore has that six spot um, but there's in a three-way tie with the Dolphins and the Colts as well. Um, but uh, I guess you just keep winning, you in. The schedule, I don't think it's too bad. Um, it was a playoff team last year. Um, and can they make the playoffs? I did believe they still had an outside shot. Like I said, I think that fifth spot is definitely either the Chiefs or the Chargers for sure. Um, I wrote off the Ravens, I'm not going to lie, but uh, they got a tough game this week, Baltimore does, with Kansas City. Um, so that's potential loss, so they could be in a tie with some of these teams um, at the end of week 14. But um, they definitely have a shot, but they got to win this game. I think they lose this game, it's going to put some days in jeopardy uh, for them making the playoffs. And will they inconsistently cost them? It's possible. Cause Titans look good at times, you know, they got big wins this year, they beat the Eagles, even though the Eagles are down this year, they destroyed the Patriots, the Cowboys win on a Monday night, even though Dallas looked good right now, so that looked like it's a better win, but then you turn around, you lose to, like I said, the way you lose to Houston, um, almost lost this game to the Jets, we got a lot of head scratch and losses as well, um, so they've been up and down all year, um, but the verdict here, the Jaguars, they don't score a lot of points. Um, so I think this is to be sort of a uh, old school, well, I should have called it old school, old fashioned, old school uh, defensive game. Uh, the Titans offense ain't consistent either. I think the Jaguars will slow them down. So uh, I got the score of Titans winning. Um, just don't believe in the Jags. Um, uh, and I think they beat them 17 13 around that score. I got the Titans winning. And getting the seven to six to stay alive in the playoff hunt, and officially in the Jaguar season, um, putting them out their misery. Um, but it's a division game, so uh, wouldn't be shocked if Jaguars pulled this one out. Um, but this is a, another interesting Thursday night game, just because of the Titans um, trying to fight for a playoff spot, and just to see the Jags, you know, uh, how far they slip as they look. No more like they was in the AFC Championship game last year. Um, but this is an interesting game, like I said. The Vision game, Titans try to stay alive in the playoff hunt. Um, I'm going to put a poll in the, uh, I'll put a couple of polls. I'm going to put a, you know, I always put a poll, uh, who I think will win the game, you know. Uh, pick between the Jaguars and the Titans, who you think will win. I also will put a poll just to see if anybody responds. Um, who's having a better career, Jameis Winston or... Marcus Mariota. Now, if you look at the numbers, I think Winston numbers might be a little slightly better, but um, Mariota does have the playoff win on his belt from last year. So, um, if you had to choose one right now, I guess I'll go with Mariota because he had, he got the playoff win. So, and uh, Jameis Winston ain't been to the playoffs yet, and he's not even guaranteed to have his job at the end of this year. So, we'll see with both of those guys. Um, continue to go um, as Winston might be on his way out of Tampa Bay and Mariota uh, I think the Titans believe in him but he's been a little bit inconsistent um, as I mentioned so we'll see where both of their careers go from here but I got the Titans winning 17-13 I think it'll be a low scoring uh, smash old school smash mouth football and I think the Titans will pull it out and stay alive in the uh, AFC wildcard picture all right, so that's we previewed the game. Now let's uh, talk about our power rankings for this week. Of course, a couple of teams lost. That was at the top, so we're gonna have some movement at the bottom. I'm gonna start from the bottom to the top because the top is still pretty much the same. It just moved around a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna start at five and go up to one. Number five, um, I got the New England Patriots back in the back in the uh, in the top five again. Um, you know, came off their body one, two straight after that big loss to the Titans that I just mentioned. Um, 
They came back, beat the Jets. They beat the Vikings, was more of a formidable opponent this week. Um, and they still uh, one of the top teams in the AFC, so I had to put them back in there. Got the Patriots at five, but they're not alone at five. They got a tie. Uh, the Chargers, big win in Pittsburgh. They at number five as well. Um, they was in my rankings just the other week, but then they lost to the Denver Broncos, and I put them back out. Um, but the Bears lost this week, so the Bears moved out. So the Chargers and Patriots tied at fifth in my power rankings. Uh, number four, the Houston Texans continue to roll. Now they won now one nine straight games. They look like a formidable AFC opponent. Um, can they touch the Chiefs? Uh, we'll see. Um, but I think Houston will definitely win this division. Um, now they are uh, three games clear with five of the goal, so um, I think it's the Texans going to win this division, get a home playoff game at least. And might have a chance at a bye, um, but we'll see. But I like the way they play. They was fourth last week. They stayed there at four. Um, they don't move up past these three teams. Um, despite one of them losing, which I'm about to get to number three, which is New Orleans Saints, who finally lost. Um, Dallas pretty much shut them down last Thursday night. Um, a lot of people thought it was going to be a blowout, including myself. That was a shocking result there and a crazy week 13. But um, Saints still, you know, it happens. They won 10 straight before that. Um, that's, uh, I guess it was due to have a bad game. Dallas played well though. Gotta don't take away nothing from the Cowboys, but uh, couldn't drop the Saints down too far. Still to the two, still formidable in the NFC, and I got them at three. They was number one, of course, for a few weeks in a row. And number two, the Kansas City Chiefs um, beat the Raiders, but the Raiders put up some points against them. That's the only thing I worry about the Chiefs uh, about. Like you know, when they go ahead, well, they haven't had a bad offensive game all year, but. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, but their defenses have played bad. Um, so, um, but they move up though, uh, and because they now tend it to, um, and they move up from the third spot. Uh, I like the Chiefs though, the AFC. A lot of people think if they get the home field, they're fine. Um, like I said, this is a different team. It's not the old Chiefs teams that get the first round buys and the home playoff games and lose. Just like last year, they just lost to the Titans, which I would miss it. Uh, that was Mariota's payoff win, comeback win against the Chiefs last year. Um, but this is a different Chiefs team. Of course, you know about Kareem Hunt um, getting could let go. So, can the running game be consistent? Um, so the Chiefs will see. Chiefs got a couple of question marks, but gotta give them the credit right now. They're number two with that. Number one, the Los Angeles Rams, who's been number one for the majority of the season, they get their spot back. Um, beating Detroit on the road um, has the best record in football now with the uh, Saints losing at 11 and one. Um, really don't see nobody beating the Rams um, other than the Saints. But now that the Saints uh, might have lost home field with that loss. Um, Saints might have to go to Los Angeles, which will be tough for them. So that's something to look out for the last few weeks of the season. Um, so the Rams at number one. So let's recap. Tie for fifth, New England Patriots and the LA Chargers. Number four, the Houston Texans. Number three, the New Orleans Saints. Number two, the Kansas City Chiefs. And at number one, the Los Angeles Rams, who continue to have a more awesome season. And we'll see. Um, how they fare in the playoffs this year as well. I'm um, already clinched the NFC West as well, so just hoping to get that first round by in the NFC, which shouldn't be too bad. Long as they stay ahead of the Saints, they should be fine. Okay, so that'll do it for our Thursday night football edition of the Silent Sports Video Blog. I'm Troy West. Said thank you. Um, join me for my other channel, The Open Book, with me. As I talk about the pressure, I'm gonna do a special this week. Uh, it's gonna be a crossover. Um, I have it on the open book and on here. I'm talking about the mental health of sports, and I read an awesome article, uh, McKenzie Mason. Um, if the last day sound familiar, well, it can sound familiar in different ways, but if you remember Derek Mason, it's his daughter. Um, Derek Mason now a coach in college football, and she talks about. 
um, her mental health issues. Uh, There's an awesome article on ESPN.com. I'll talk a little bit about that in that video on Friday. I'm gonna do it on Friday, so um, definitely uh, keep your eyes open. As far as my video game playthroughs, uh, I might, uh, like I said, I got some projects unfinished. Um, I got some Sonic Mania unfinished, so I might go back to that. Um, like I said, Spider Man is done for right now. Um, other than that, not too many more games. Uh, I want to finish Mega Man 11 as well, so um, I'm gonna try to do some stuff. So just uh, look out for that stuff as well. And of course, Saturday we'll be back here for episode 82 of the blog. You know, we'll talk a little NBA and we'll get ready for week 14 as well. We'll talk about this game and how it fared um, on Saturday. So join me then. Um, thanks for all the support. Um, firstly, thank uh, Yellow K Diamond. That's my uh, YouTube friend. Um, she's been real supportive. Um, I'm trying to do some live videos as well, probably Saturday, um, with uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, which is the game I'm really playing right now. But uh, got some videos up of that, so you can check that out. And um, 20XX as well. So um, just uh, keep keep notifications uh, on if you have them on or. You know, just check me out when you get a chance. I try to do as much as I can. Like I said, I honestly be tired when I get off in the morning. Like I said, I just got off. Um, so I'm recording this, and then I'm going to take a nap, <laughs> get some sleep before I start work again later this afternoon. But I thank all you guys for the support. Not just Yellow K Diamond, she's just special. Um, check her ch uh, channel out. She had uh, a lot of channels as well. Said about four or five channels. She do gaming as well. Uh, she do the SMAR stuff, so uh, check her out. She's a beautiful woman as well. So um, just a special shout out to her. And I put the link in the uh, info uh, icon on the channel. And also the open book, I put something on there about that as well. And thanks to all my YouTube um, subscribers, uh, everybody on Facebook and Instagram as well. I'm Troy West. Enjoy the rest of your week. Happy Hump Day. Um, Titans and Jaguars, big game for the Titans to try to stay alive in the playoff picture. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Troy West, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.